All right. So welcome to Fierce Friday. It is Friday, November 1st, believe it or not. And we are going to be focusing today on our moms. And um, the whole purpose of this is going to be called Joyful and Nourished Conscious Choices for Breastfeeding Moms. So we're going to jump right in. But before we do, we want to read our pledge. So if somebody would like to do that, please raise your hand virtual or if you're on camera, your visible hand, um, because we are a thousand people in a hundred communities committing to spread health and well-being and an economic opportunity as well, all surrounding organic superfood nutrition. And we want to share that with 10 families each. So when we do that, that's how we become this million mom movement. So um, Martha, if you'd like to go ahead and read that for us. See if I can share my screen. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Naiva. Oh, hold on. Let's get you unmuted. There we go. I pledge to defend the health of myself and my family. I pledge to choose organic foods are, that are minimally processed and free of man-made ingredients. I pledge to read labels and educate myself on all aspects of clean living. I understand that my actions today will positively impact the health and environment of future generations. I am committed to sharing this movement of many. I am the Million Mom Movement. Thank you so much. Before you mute yourself, I would love to hear, and I'm sure we would all love to hear, what this movement means to you. What it means to me is growing every day and constantly reassuring myself that there has been and will always be better ways to feed and nourish myself and my family. And going about it in a way and setting a better example, I know that in the long run, I will have a longer life. My son will have a longer life. His children will have longer life. And just go coming back to the basics and realizing that when we take care of what we have, we are able to take care of those around us better. Oh, and that includes the earth. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that. It's it's so beautiful to hear everybody's special little points about what this means to them and why we can come together as a collective and be able to share that and be able to to in impact other people as well. So I again am Ashley Morales and I'm here today with our council members Sherry and Naeva and Allison and we're going to jump into this topic of breastfeeding and how it is a beautiful journey and we know that not everyone um, is always um, going to be able to but we want to support you in how to make your support your body so that it is in the optimal position to be able to feed your baby, if that's your choice, and why it's so beneficial to be able to, um, I, I kind of love that point that um, Marty brought up, that it's like, we want to raise our ability to, of what we're putting in our bodies, and then guess what? That makes us able to do so much more, and that includes our body's natural ability to produce this wonderful, wonderful source of food for our babies. So um, we know that we can make conscious choices and that will significantly enhance your experience um, and ensure that you feel supported and nourished throughout this very, very special time. It's such a precious moment that you can share and build those connections. So we wanna prioritize our nourishing foods and we're gonna be talking about staying hydrated, listening to our bodies, embracing mindful eating, and also seeking support and supporting ourselves through self-care. Talk about um, creating that positive environment around us. Um, celebrate little milestones. And so all of these little points are what I'm gonna be bringing out. And um, so, First and foremost, what are some nourishing foods that we can 
introduce. So your body is working so hard to produce milk. It's, it's one of the most amazing things that we can do. So we want to fuel our bodies with nutrient-rich foods. This is so crucial. So incorporating fruits and vegetables, whole grains, healthy fat, and make it a variety. So leafy greens, oats that are organically sourced, um, that helps with our sustained energy. And um, salmon, those omega-3 fatty acids, um, and finding those in other sources as well, like nuts and seeds, are so important for brain development for a baby. So um, we could have even something prepped ahead of time that we can be able to grab quick because if you have experienced this before or if you're about to go into this, I must let you know that you um, may not be able to just get up and get things the way that you used to. You're gonna be in your seat. So I always recommend to new moms, have a little caddy next to you with your water and your snacks that are easy to grab um, and then have your meal prepped things in the fridge easy for someone else to grab for you so that you are constantly feeding yourself. Um, it's so easy to forget and it's the most thirsty I've ever been. So let's talk about hydration. Hydration is going to be so key. That's how we make sure that our production stays up. Um, we are going to aim to drink plenty of water throughout your day. And um, some moms find it super helpful to keep your water bottle nearby. And also I find it really helpful to have water bottles that tell us how much water is in the bottle. So then you can kind of keep track of that as well. And you don't have to just drink water. There's herbal teas, coconut water, broths that you can have made ahead of time. So staying hydrated, um, can come in many forms and actually it's even better to have all that variety because then you're actually adding in also all of the minerals that we're missing as well. Um, the other point, um, the next point I was going to bring out is listening to your body. So breastfeeding can be super demanding um, and every mother's experience is unique and we want to be able to listen to your body's signals if you're feeling sleepy please rest. If you're feeling hungry, please eat. Thirsty, please drink. So the only way to do that and notice those signs is to be attuned to your body. So pay attention to what's happening. Um, and you are going to notice that even though you're feeling all of these different um, signals going off, that they are not going to be consistent every day. So it's important for us to listen and what is our body asking us for this moment and um, notice when we when our um, milk supply is changing and maybe our baby's feeding patterns are, are changing and absolutely um, recommend um, being aware of who a um, lactation consultant is in your area that is so important. So um, I will take this moment right here to be able to share my personal experience. Um, just knowing who they are and having them on hand so that you're not hesitant to even reach for the phone and, and call them is so key. So when I had my first baby, um, I had some issues with him latching and I had no idea why. I just thought I was a first time mom and that was it. And so um, what turned out to be um, something is the doctor missed that he had a tongue tie. And so I went home, still struggling with nursing. And then I just had this feeling, which is why we listen to our bodies. I had this feeling that he was just cranky and I wanted to figure out why. So I called a lactation consultant and she was about to close and um on a Friday and she was like, you know what? Just come in. I wanna, I wanna meet you and I wanna just let you feed your baby and I'll see if there's anything off because I, I hear that you are listening to your body. And so I went in, she observed, we nursed, he was not getting enough. And she said, I'm so glad you came in. I'm actually not working on the weekend, but I will be coming in the weekend for you because I want you to make sure that he's gaining weight because he had lost a whole pound, which if you know, that's a lot. So there is so much that can be gained when you get that 
constant um, guidance and somebody who knows what they're talking about. So that was huge. And I did not have the, the knowledge of fueling my body. She taught me to stay hydrated. So all of that, just to say, there's so much information out there and really leaning into at least what your body can say and then reaching out to whoever else has the knowledge. Um, I will tell my um, postpartum story later of when I actually did have these superfoods available to me. Um, we're going to move on to embracing mindful eating. Um, that is when you just take a moment to um, truly enjoy your meals. It's going to be so, um, what's the word? It, almost like clockwork. <laughs> you may feel like you're going to be like, I just got to start this down and get going. And it's so important to just be mindful and take that moment to breathe and take a bite pause, chew, and that is really how we absorb nutrients even better. But it also in, 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 uh, blah, blah. <laughs> it enhances our experience for digestion and satisfaction. So set, getting that satiate, satiated feeling. So um, keep the environment calm during meal times if possible, dimming lights, playing soft music, um, Going outside to enjoy food as well is such an amazing way to really embrace this moment and and slow things down. Um, and so when we approach meals this way, it can transform um, our meals actually into a more nourishing ritual rather than just being rushed and feeling like I'm just eating out of necessity and that's all. Um, we also wanna seek support. So breastfeeding can have some challenges and it is really important to find a supportive community that can make a world of difference. So don't hesitate to find friends and family that you feel comfortable with or the ones who offer help, please accept it. Whether it's cooking or, or cleaning your house while you hold the baby and then they get to hold the baby, um, these are all really good. Or if, even if it's just coming over and giving their lending their ear so that you can just share your experience of what motherhood this time around or your first time has been like. Um, Self-care, that is so important for you to carve out the time to enjoy a warm bath, go for a walk, read a good book, um, really rely heavily on that community so that you can really do this, even if it's just a nice hot shower, sometimes it can make a world of a difference in our mindset and our attitude. Um, this positive environment, this is such a good point um, that I wanted to make sure that was brought out. Um, we may have this idea but in our head of this cozy breastfeeding nook that we want. However, if we don't take the steps to actually create that, it's not going to happen. It's just going to be like, okay, where are we? We're sitting here and we're feeding the baby. Um, but really creating that space where you already have set up your comfortable seat, your pillows, your lighting that you prefer. Maybe even having something for you to do while you're feeding baby, like having a journal or a book. Um, something calming other than our devices that we tend to lean on heavily. Um, so creating that environment is really going to be nurturing for you and create this peaceful vibration too for your baby. And um, that there also is this point of celebrating milestones. I feel like this is huge. Um, everything in breastfeeding, um, especially when you're for, with your first baby is new. Everything's unique with each child even. So it's so important to celebrate every single milestone along the way. Um, if it's that you achieved a certain, certain amount of months that you were able to breastfeed successfully, then celebrate that. Um, maybe there are some challenges along the way. Celebrate the ones that you overcame. Um, simply enjoying the bonding moments with your little ones, celebrate that and take photos and journal how you're feeling throughout this experience. It's, it's going to really close up that journey of something that is such a huge life changing event that now you're getting able, you're able to kind of make full circle. Like this baby I've been growing, this human I've been growing is now outside in the real world. And, um, now 
let's just make sure that we keep feeding and nourishing ourselves and the baby. So um, all of that is what I wanted to share personally. Um, and some of the things that we talked about is um, like the leafy greens. We know a very good source of getting our leafy greens, right? So um, a lot of people with the superfoods that we may introduce the superfoods to have questions about, you know, can somebody who's pregnant or breastfeeding, can they have these superfoods? So um, instead of me just saying it, I'm going to let our founder <laughs> be able to share it in this amazing video. So let me grab that and screen share. Let's see here. And sound. Okay. Just give me a thumbs up if you're able to hear and see. Well, the answer is yes and no. You see, the ultimate lifestyle transformation is nothing more than a core four plus a parasite cleanse. And the parasite cleanse is not appropriate to do for nursing and pregnant women. It has too many herbal effects. However, all of the other products that comprise the ultimate lifestyle transformation, the apothecary, the biomedic, the power shake and the super aminos are all extremely good and recommended for nursing and pregnant women. So please enjoy. Yay. So yes, yes, yes. A resounding yes. Enjoy. And like he said, we just avoid the super cleanse R, which now thankfully we have an option to swap that out for something else. So let's look what is in the core four that is so beneficial for baby and mom. Um, let's see here, let me get out of this full screen. Okay, so this is an article, I will drop it in the chat um, from our blog. And um, it's going to break down the fact that, of course, we're bringing in uh, a baby and a new human into the world, and it's exciting and and so exhilarating. And on the other hand, we're bringing a human into the world, and it's scary. <laughs> They're dependent on you. So it's so important for us to take deep breath. Don't worry, you totally got this. <laughs> and um, just know that um, it's recognizing the process can be challenging, but there is a way to make it easier. And I have personally seen so many moms go through um, a pregnancy without these superfoods and then their next pregnancy go through it with the superfoods and what a difference. So this is why we say it's making it a little easier. It's because we're supporting the body on a cellular level. Um, so we are going to um, dive into the core four um, and the benefits of breast milk. Um, I will just read this here that um, it contains the lauric acid, a powerful substance that helps encourage the body's immune system far beyond childhood. It's beauty and power lay and its nutritional value, so boasting a highly digestible omega-3s omega-9s and carbohydrates. What's more, lauric acid, acid not cannot be found on its own naturally. Breast milk is one of the potent sources. So in terms of nutritional support, you'll want a range of whole foods and products that work with you. So we're gonna break down um, the Biomedic, Power Shake, Apothecary, and the Super Aminos, and a couple of other things. And um, so we'll go ahead and now I'll pass it over to Naeva to go first into biomed. Can you share your screen, please? That will help me. Thank you. Biomedics really incredible. Um, as we all know, our food system is inundated with glyphosate and biomedic is the only known product that can really help 
remove this toxin and, and repair our gut microbiome, right? So it can help support our body in repairing our gut microbiome and help us to remove glyphosate from our gut so we can absorb nutrients better. And this is really important as like Ashley said, we have to be absorbing our nutrients so that, that way we can make that optimal breast milk for our babies. And the microbiome health is vitality important. Um, and that's what makes biomedics so important. After all, it is considered the second brain. Gut health becomes doubly important for mothers who consume antibiotics because antibiotics may help subside specific symptoms. However, they can throw off your gut bacteria. So there's just something to know every time you take any antibiotics that can throw off your gut bacteria. And it's really important to reintroduce the healthy um probiotics and enzymes so that your body can do its job, job digesting and processing everything properly. So in addition, prebiotics and probiotics can help new mothers stay regular. After pregnancy, birth, and breastfeeding, a mother's digestive system may be affected by stress and more. Um, healthy bacteria can rebalance and provide comfort. And so this is really important for anybody that has had a baby, then you know that sometimes there can be, you know, a transition period right after you have the baby where your digestive system is still trying to figure out, you know, and, and everything in your body is going back into place after the baby comes out. So what's more, the herbicide glyphosate may wreak havoc on our body, especially the gut. The biomedic is the only um, product proven by the detox product. Um, certified product to remove glyphosate in humans with our preclinical trial. So it was a six week trial. It removes glyphosate by 74.5%. And it also is incredible for reducing inflammation in the body. So um, that is another really incredible thing. And sometimes, you know, that can also be an issue with right after having the baby, sometimes we have some additional inflammation, our body's getting used to, um, you know, the new normal of having just had a baby and now producing milk and so many things are changing. And so taking care of your gut and your digestive system is so important for all systems to work properly, but also to boost your immune system and baby's immune system. And so I'll go ahead and pass it um, over to Sherry. Thank you. Um, Ashley, if you could just scroll down a little bit, please. Thank you. Um, the power shake. I mean, there's so much that we could say about the power shake. Um, just speaking quickly to uh, one of the things, Ashley, you had highlighted the fact that while breastfeeding, it's so important that we have snacks nearby, that we have things prepped. You know, I love that you said a hydration water with you all at all times. Um, these were all things that I did not do, which I will get into that specific story of mine soon. Um, but I cannot think of a better way and a quicker way and a more effective way to get more nutrients. And then you can quite literally get eating anything else all day long, uh, while breastfeeding or not really, um, then the power shake, uh, power shake has the equi the nutrient equivalent of six microgreen organic salads. It doesn't get healthier than that. As far as I'm concerned, and no matter how healthy you eat, no matter how much time you have on your hands, I don't know anyone who can prep six microgreen organic salads and eat them every day. Um, and so, especially while breastfeeding, especially when you're, you are, you know, postpartum with a newborn, you want easy, but this is not just easy. This is super, super effective in terms of staying nourished. So it has the key nutrients from greens like wheatgrass and spirulina. It's got better. Uh, beta carotene from carrots, and it provides vital nutrition. Like I just said quickly for busy moms, Allison. Hey, okay. So on to apothecary. So apothecary is like, first of all, it tastes delicious and it's so, um, it's so rich and nourishing, but it, it's, it calms your nervous system. And so for me, especially after having kids actually before having kids and after, but I was diagnosed with postpartum, uh, depression and anxiety. And, um, you know, I would get really anxious, at night, even when I finally could sleep, like, let's say there was like a window and I would just get, I would just be anxious. And somehow like, I'm like, I have my window to sleep and I can't sleep. And then when the apothecary came in, I was into my life. I was already after breastfeeding a year and a half with my daughter. And it just, first of all, I used to take other things to aid my sleep 
which is not good because when you're breastfeeding, you just don't want to be putting melatonin and, you know, anything that's synthetic or unnatural into your body. But I was dependent on certain, you know, certain aids. And um, you don't want to be, you know, sleeping so deep that you're knocked out because you have to be, your senses have to be attuned. So what I love is that the apothecary is a natural, it works with your body to produce its melatonin. So it's not adding in an unnatural replacement of your own melatonin. It's actually increasing your own production of that hormone, which is so important. And so, you know, it's deeply nourishing. Um, what I also love is that my daughter, my other daughter was five when this came into my life and it was safe for me to give to her and have helped my kids have deep restful sleep, uh, really calm down at night. And we still like six years later, look forward to this every single night as a family. Um, you know, we just drink it every single night and it's, it's changed our entire life. So I'm, I used to be, like I said, dependent on sleep aids and then coffee to, to wake me up. But just having that deep restful sleep has also allowed me to release the coffee, which was not a good habit for me while breastfeeding. So, um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah. Amazing breakdown. So I'll do go over the super amino 23. And usually this is something that we suggest for athletes, right? So why moms? <laughs> well, we're, we're superheroes, first of all. And second of all, um, this is the fastest way to get protein into your body. So super amino 23, um, the 23 in the name suggests what it is. It gets into your system in 23 minutes, which is just amazing when you compare it to other forms of protein. And the way that we're able to digest it, it's pre-digested. So it's already going to be easily assimilated into the body. And the way that this happens is actually so amazing that it's able to be in our muscles in that 23 minutes, as opposed to anything else that we're trying to shove in our mouth and really quickly, rushedly get protein in and more protein because we're also feeding this other little person. Um, it's not going to be as efficient as far as it takes anywhere from four to six hours for any other protein to be assimilated. And it's not going to be as clean because it's not pre-digested. Our body has to do the digesting, which means it must break it down from the protein into the peptide, into the amino, and then it goes through our um, liver and kidneys and it's, it can be more taxing to the body. And then it's only up to at the very most 35% that we're actually absorbing. So that is the reason why when we take these and um, our past um, million mom chair, Stephanie Dawn used to call them her mommy magic pills. That is why, because the moment they are in your system, you know it and you feel amazing. The other amazing benefit from them is the fact that it helps with tightening our skin and giving our skin that skin, our, our skimming our skin the elasticity back. So there's um, been a few people that I've seen personally that their skin from postpartum to a couple of weeks later is just glowing and it's not depleted. And they're, they've shown their stomach, their stomach, their tummy and their stomach going back to almost what it was before. And that is because we're giving our body what it needs on such a deep level and it's able to use a hundred percent of it. So um, that is a, uh, just a thing that I actually keep in my wallet. I mean, my purse at all times, like they're, they are always with me because if there's ever a moment that I'm feeling a little hungry and it's not quite time for us to have our food yet, this takes care of it. The other thing that share. So the other thing that I wanted to bring out from this article is the green barley juice. And this is amazing for actually supporting our production of our milk. And I'm actually gonna pass it over to um we're gonna give it back to Sherry, and she's going to go over these, um, this list here, go over in detail, but 
I want to share this link here of what we want to avoid. And then she can go into her um her that tips as a coach enough. and how she's been able to help people as well through this journey. So go ahead and share with us, Sherry. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. Okay, so these are some of the superfoods that are suggested to avoid um, during a breastfeeding. And there are some reasons for that, right? Um, in terms of the super cleanser, we, we just heard Dave kind of mention that during uh, the little video that Ashley played for us, um, that super cleanser is one that we want to be avoiding during breastfeeding just because of the amount of herbs that are in there. And sometimes herbs can have different effects on the body, not necessarily negative effects, but these the effects could be a little too much for both the mom's body after pregnancy and baby. And so that's why it's suggested that we avoid them. And so when people see a list like this, before I get into more specifics in terms of the list, um, you know, we were talking as a council before the call is we usually meet a couple of minutes prior to just to, you know, discuss and make sure that we know our flow for the call. Um, and, you know, this was brought up um, as, as a concern, you know, because it's true when people tend to see a list like this, they're like, oh, see, we need to avoid these things. And these are supplements. And I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't want to take any of them. I don't know. Um, and I just want to sort of, you know, address that for a moment in terms of this should not be scary to anyone who is seeing this for the first time. Okay. These are all superfoods. They, these are not synthetic forms of vitamins as a health coach. Um, I am always trying to educate people on the importance of understanding the difference. When terms of supplementation, everybody, as far as I'm concerned, in today's world needs to be supplementing their diets. Our food should theoretically be enough, but unfortunately it is not. We need more. And we know this because we know that our food is lacking 75% less of the vitamins and minerals that it once had because of what is being done to our soil. And so it's so important that um, we understand that supplementation is, is needed. Um, I argue everyone needs it all of the time, but especially during times like this in our lives, when we are first, you know, growing a baby inside of us and then giving birth and then nourishing that baby with our breast milk. It's a very important time. The body is going to be depleted and we need to supplement. Okay. Um, but the quality of those supplements are always going to be what is most important. What is more dangerous to a body is synthetically made vitamins and, and vitamins, essentially supplements. Okay. Because they're made to mimic real vitamins and minerals found in our food, but they are not real. The body does not know how to break those down, does not know how to utilize them correctly. So if there's anything that we need to be looking to seriously uh, avoid, or I mean, quote unquote fear, although I don't want to put fear in anyone because you don't need to fear because knowledge is power, right? But the thing that we want to be worried about in essence, what it's doing in our bodies are synthetically made supplements. Nothing from Pyramus is synthetic in any way, shape, or form. And that's why I first fell in love with this company. Um, and, and so while some of the herbs are perhaps suggested to stay away from during breastfeeding, we don't want that to create any fear or confusion in terms of how safe are our superfoods? Should we be incorporating any of them during um, breastfeeding? Because there is in fact nothing better than the ones that are approved for breastfeeding in terms of the amount of nutrients they contain all from real natural sources, as natural as it gets. Um, so much care is put into every single aspect. And again, a reason why I love this company and I would be screaming about this company from the rooftops without a business attached to it because as a health coach, I had searched and searched and searched for a company that I could truly get behind and recommend. And I've seen so many benefits in so many ways. Okay, so that list, we will copy and paste it, I'm sure to the, the um, or I think Ashley already did. I'm not sure, Ashley, if that was the original um, link that you had provided, but we'll definitely provide you with that link. So you can go and take a li list of that. You can go and take a look at that list for anyone who you are recommending these to who is breastfeeding, or if you're breastfeeding yourself, just to know that there are herbs in those that are not recommended to be using for you and baby during uh, during breastfeeding, but know that all of those can be welcomed right back into your routine and should be welcomed right back into your daily routine as soon as you're done breastfeeding. Thank you so much, Sherry. That was amazing. So like we've all been mentioning that this is just such a special time and this is how we nourish our bodies and you're already doing an amazing job. So every small step that you take towards 
nourishing your body and and finding joy in all the little moments and overcoming the challenges is absolutely beautiful. So um, I would like to, let me screen share again. This is an amazing tool that we have that I want to make sure that you're aware of. And, and most of you will be aware of it already, but just being able to turn to it and being able to know that this is a great way to look at if there's a specific thing that you're trying to accomplish, whether it is a healthier gut or healthy weight loss, um, if it's um, oral health, there's a lot of things with inflammation that happen through pregnancy with our oral health. If it and if it's the healthy skin, so looking through also these trimesters here, first, second, third, um, and then healthy nursing. All of this. Um, this book and this little um, tool that we have is an amazing source of just a quick way to find exactly what we would need for each of those things that we want to tackle. So um, just if you have not already looked through this, I really encourage you to use this because it's a beautiful way for us to really see how we can find specifically what we're looking for and accomplish it so much easier. So I would like now to, um, I will first tell my personal story with, and then I'm gonna open it up to our council members and then we're gonna open it up to anyone else that has something to share as well. So for me, I told my story of without Kiriam. So later I didn't get Kiriam until my third baby was already born. However, there was a period of time that I actually got to experience um, using the barley greens and incorporating those into my day and seeing a huge transformation shift of being able to see how we went from a, almost a little bit of a low supply to an overabundance of supply. And it was such a short amount of time too. And it was so wonderful to know exactly what I changed in my day and exactly give all the credit towards this amazing superfood and how powerful it was for my body personally. So um, that was what I experienced. And my third baby, I was able to nurse her until she was three years old. And so that was just such a special thing that I am so glad I got to experience. My boys didn't get as long, but she really got to benefit from me fueling my body with these superfoods. Sure, sure. So um, now I want to hear from, I think we're going to hear from Naeva first and hear what your experience was. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I actually started using these superfoods 10 years ago when I was four months postpartum. So I had been, I had a really crazy busy life in the morning. I had five kids in four different schools and a new baby. And so my morning routine was really busy. I was having, you know, not a lot of sleep at night. And so I, I was depleted. I was overwhelmed and undernourished. And that's when Purium came into my life. It was actually my midwife, who's a dear friend of mine, who had been introducing it to me even towards the end of my pregnancy. But I had this thought in my head that it was a cleanse and that I couldn't cleanse while I was pregnant. So if you've ever heard that from anybody that you've talked to, drop a one below. But this was my belief was that this was a cleanse program. And so it really took me a little while to understand that it was a lifestyle program and that these are nutrients and they're, they're actually food and not just for cleansing. The cleansing benefits come from eating all of those greens and seaweeds and having those cleansing benefits naturally. And it's so interesting because we'll go to a restaurant or buy foods out there and not even think twice about what's in it or ask about the ingredients. Yet when we look at something that we presume is a supplement or something that is, you know, different than the normal, then we want to look at all the ingredients and scrutinize everything. And so I had went and looked at the ingredients. And when I did, I realized it was all food. And there was nothing in there that was synthetic. There was nothing in there that I didn't know what it was. And the couple things that I didn't know what it was when I looked it up, it was like a seed or a bark or some kind of plant that I hadn't heard of before or that was named something else. And so it was just so reassuring to know that this was actually food. And when I wrapped my mind around that, then I finally found my yes and decided that I was going to do this for myself because it took a friend reaching out to me and saying, hey, you know what? 
I know you're doing all the things you're juggling life with all the kids and how are you fueling yourself? How are you taking care of yourself? And it really took me a moment to think about like, okay, I'm taking care of the kids. I'm getting up early. I'm getting them out the door, but what am I doing for myself? I was, you know, not really fueling myself properly. I was actually skipping meals and like cleaning up the kids breakfast after I got back from dropping them off at school. And, you know, I wasn't really fully focusing on how to nourish myself. And as we know, with a new baby, it can be challenging with only one hand and limited time to, you know, really sustain yourself and fuel yourself properly. And so I was often grabbing for like a bagel and cream cheese or something that wasn't really fueling me, but it was easy and I could grab it and I could eat it really quickly. And, and that wasn't necessarily making me feel good in my body. And so when I did introduce Purium, um, I first started, she actually gave me a gift of some power shake and I drank it and I felt such a huge difference just in that one time of drinking it that I was able to then start, you know, actually feeling the energy that it was giving me. And I felt such a huge difference that I decided right away, like within a few days, I was like, I need some more of that, like wherever that came from. She's like, this is what I've been trying to share with you for all of these months. And so I finally went ahead and got on board. Um, and the greatest thing is that it was so simple. I could just take the power shake with some water and mix it and go sit down and breastfeed the baby and fuel myself at the same time. And, you know, I could sit there and I don't know for any of you moms that have sat there and breastfed, sometimes a baby's sleeping and you don't want to move and you're like, but I'm so hungry. Like, I wish I could like make a meal right now. And so it's so simple. If you make that power shake before you sit down to breastfeed, you have a meal right there when you're ready to consume it and it's easily consumable. It will give you good, clean energy for myself. It gave me better energy. It helped me make it through the day. It gave me um, more patience with my kids in the morning. I was sleeping better through the night from the apothecary that I was taking in the evening. The baby was sleeping better through the night from taking, from me taking the apothecary. And I just felt like my whole life was so much came into balance because I had a way to nourish myself. And we always say, if you can, you know, you got to take care of yourself first so that you can take care of everyone else around you better. So I encourage anybody, you know, who's here listening, take care of yourself first so that you can take care of everyone else better. You'll be working from a way higher um, level of just having more energy, having more patience, having more mental clarity, getting that better sleep at night and feeling really rested in the morning when you have to, you know, tackle all the first thing in the morning chores. And so, um, yeah, I'm so grateful Purium came into my life. I've been using Purium for the past 10 years because my friend shared it with me and I'm so grateful that I started. So thank you so much for having me share my story today, Ashley. Thank you so much for sharing it, Mayla. That was beautiful. And I'm so glad that you, I loved how you worded it, that you found your yes. And that is our hope for everyone that they find their yes. Um, there's so many times that we share something so precious and it's a no, and we know we're not giving up on them. And it's just beautiful when we find people in this community that have said their yes. So um, now I want to hear from Sherry and she's going to share what she experienced without these superfoods. I, it's so fun. I didn't expect to get so emotional. And I was listening to your story and you got me at one or two points because um, it's really bringing up for me. I mean, my, my older son now is, is 14, right? So it's been a little bit, but um, it's bringing up so much of that time for me. I wish I had these superfoods back then. I really do. Not just the superfoods, but the knowledge that has come with it all. Um, and I'm talking about the knowledge that extends far beyond what I learned uh, while studying to be a holistic nutrition and health coach. Um, that was just the beginning of the journey for me. Um, when I gave birth to my son, my first son, uh, Jordan, I he was tongue-tied um, at birth. And so latching was extremely difficult. And our days spent in the hospital before going home were almost traumatizing. It was really tough. Um, and when we got home, I knew that I wanted to breastfeed. I knew that it was a, become it, it had quickly become a, like a miserable experience for both myself and him. And so I learned about the option of uh, pumping. 
And so I went ahead and said, okay, I'm going to pump exclusively. And everybody told me, well, that's a little hard to do. And, you know, I don't think you, you know, you can maybe pump a little, but supplement with, with um, the formula, but I was very much set on breast milk. And so I pumped exclusively and I um, completely underestimated what my body needed in order to do this the same as breastfeeding it's no different really um you know i hear people's stories about breastfeeding because then i went on to to also exclusively uh pump milk for my second set so i never did experience actual breastfeeding but to, from the stories i hear it's the same right like it's the the amount the challenges are the same the amount of dedication it takes and how you need to support your body is the same um and i it's it's crazy to to think back to that time and, and recognize just how disconnected I still was from my body, because for me, it was all about my baby. And I didn't realize that in order to properly nourish my baby, I needed to be nourishing myself. It's so crazy that I thought that nourishing myself was somehow selfish, giving any attention to self-care in those first months or year to me, I thought was selfish. You know, the idea of putting my um, oxygen mask on first um, was a selfish thing to do, but in essence, it was exactly what I needed to do. And because I did not do that, um, I was also caring for my stepdaughter who was 14 at the time and was going through a slew of, um, mental, uh, health issues. And my then husband, uh, was, you know, had a business and was working like 70 plus hours a week. And I was really alone. I was very, I felt very much alone during that time. I didn't really have any guidance. Um, and so I, seriously, seriously neglected myself. And there were times, I mean, to the point where sometimes the only thing that I put into my body all day long was a cup of coffee that I made in the morning and, you know, kind of got to throughout the day and took a few sips here and there and thought that, well, you know, today that's going to have to be enough. Or on a good day, I had like a cup of coffee and a bagel maybe, or I don't even know, toast or like one of those egos that you pop in a toaster, right? Like that was my, and it was like, that's okay because my baby needs me. My baby needs me. Um, well, that quickly uh, got me uh, in the hospital with a very bad breast infection and extreme dehydration. I mean, to the point where the doctor said, I could theoretically give you antibiotics and send you back home. I know you have a newborn at home and I know you want to be there, not here, but I have never seen a postpartum mom come in as severely dehydrated as you are. I'm not letting you leave. Not yet. And so he proceeded to hook me up to, uh, you know, to, uh, to, to ensure that I was getting the liquids at through IV uh, for 48 hours straight. And I mean, as much as like, I was just like one set mind, I need to go home. I need to be back with my baby. I was, I mean, that morning I had to call and my brother-in-law to come and bring me to the hospital because I could not even lift my baby out of his little seat. That's how little energy I had. I, I did not have it in me that morning. I was running a really high fever. I was sweating. I was dizzy. And I knew that something was seriously wrong. However, even in that place, it wasn't about myself. It was about my baby and leaving him for the day. And so I know the extremes of, you know, becoming a first time mom and wanting to do it all and, and feeling, you know, the pressure, but also just really wanting to do it and feel, and thinking that that's what we need to do. But I cannot stress enough the importance of nourishing ourselves to, do, if you're not going to do it for yourself, which I hope eventually you find, you get to a place where you can truly do it and do it from a place of, of wanting to do it for you too. Then at the beginning, do it for your baby, because there is nothing more important than that. Um, you know, as a health coach, I could tell you that a breastfeeding mom is lacking at the very least. I mean, and these are like, you know, the major ones, you can be lacking more than this, but 12 major vitamins and minerals, there's B12, there's iron, there's zinc, there's vitamin D, calcium, vitamin E, folic acid, vitamin A, iodine, omega-3 fatty acids, magnesium, and thiamine. And those are just the top 12 that most breastfeeding mothers become depleted in very, very quickly. So if we are not nourishing our bodies during this time, eventually it's going to catch up with us. If it doesn't catch up with you as quickly as it did me while I was still pumping milk and within a couple of weeks time, you know, sometimes it's down the road. Sometimes it's after breastfeeding. Um, the body is kind of coming back to a quote unquote normal and recognizes just how out of balance it is and how much it's missing. And then we become vulnerable to dis-ease in the body. And that's going to look differently from person to person, from mental to physical, to emotional, to a combination of all three. 
And so this is why this is my story without superfoods because superfoods have only come into my life over the last three years going on four years. And so while myself and my family, my kids, I've seen amazing benefits on these superfoods. Unfortunately, I didn't have them back then at such a critical time. I believe that, you know, it could have very well made a huge shift in terms of what we've experienced since in our health, but I'm thankful for them now anyways. Go back to you, Ashley. Thank you so much, Sherry, for sharing that. It's a very emotional roller coaster because we do as moms, we just throw ourselves into this role where we are this baby's everything. We have always been this baby's everything. And now it's like we have a constant, you know, physical reminder of like, okay, I've got to take care of this little person. And it's so important for us to take a moment, look in the mirror and say, okay, what does mom need in order to better serve this little tiny human? So thank you so much for giving us such a clear picture of what could happen if we don't pay attention to the signs of that our body's telling us, our body's screaming at us. And everything that you listed in those minerals and vitamins that were depleted in is exactly what this amazing um, superfood nutrition um, program gives us. Every single day, we can have an abundance of all of those things um, instead of being depleted. And depleted depletion, we know, leads to so many other things, like you said, dis-ease. But I mean, for me, my depletion led to my postpartum depression as well. So it's so important for us to focus on our, our health of ourselves so that we can pass on to our babies this beautiful health and we still are whole in ourselves as well so um now we get to hear, hear from allison and hear her story so go ahead and allison take it away yeah thank you so much um so i when this came into my life i was uh tanned and breastfeeding my two girls my uh oldest was four and a half and yes she was still breastfeeding and my and my baby was a year and a half well and so, yeah, um, it was at the end of my breastfeeding journey. I absolutely, my biggest, you know, prayer, I mean, my, my, I wish it had come into my life sooner because it definitely would have prevented a lot of the issues that happened to me. And um, the issues for me postpartum were mental health issues. And, uh, and like Sherry said, you know, the isolation of being, you know, alone, um, we don't realize so many of us are isolated, you know, it's really a, an isolating time. And because, you know, the way society sets things up, we don't have community the way we used to, we don't have, you know, women um, gathered and supporting each other. Um, and, you know, oftentimes men have to work overtime in those times because women can't be working. And so there's just a lot wrong with that. But um I was alone and, you know, Montreal winters are cold and long. And I just remember being just so, I didn't realize, and like Shari, I wasn't taking care of myself uh, like properly at all. And I didn't know, we were always told nutrition doesn't matter. <laughs> like somehow, I don't know, that story has been told to me so many times that it doesn't matter. It's all genetic. You're, you know, it, it doesn't matter what you eat. Uh, you could be eating the, you know, we always hear these things. Anyway, and I believed it. And so I was also giving into cravings of terrible things, you know, indulging actually, um, overly indulging in some really bad things because of being a breastfeeding mother, you know, my body, we were hungry and I'd be like, I like, you know, we kind of society, uh, media makes it like give the, the, give the nurse, the, the, like the pregnant or the breastfeeding mom, like donuts and, and fat, like fattening foods. And so, I was indulging whatever I wanted, restaurant foods, convenient foods, like, you know, things. And, and even though we know now things like coffee and alcohol and medications are not good for the baby because that does go right into them. I just didn't, I didn't have that association. And because our society normalizes those things, I was drinking coffee because I was exhausted, you know, I was doing, um, I was taking the medications that were prescribed to me, even though my intuition knew better. I did know actually, but my, because my doctor said it was safer than my mental health issues because I was diagnosed with postpartum borderline, well, uh, bipolar. So like sort of like a postpartum psychosis I went through and they told me that the medications were just safer than, you know, without. And so um, I listened and I know this food would have 
definitely prevented that from happening because as soon as I, that came into my life, my body came very quickly back into, uh, back into life. Like I just came back to life and I didn't know I was so depleted before because so much of, even in my mommy group and stuff was normalized to be always exhausted and, you know, brittle nails and all of that stuff and falling out hair and, um, you know, just all the normal mommy things. And as soon as this came into my life, everything came back to into like balance, you know, like I just started right away first noticing my mental health improve my milk production, even though I was at the end, I was almost finished, but I felt a much healthier like flow. I, um, yeah, my, I was so happy. My baby went to go from breast milk onto green juice because she went right from the booby to the bottle. And I have like, you know, she's like a year and a half with her, her green juice in her bottle. And she did so well. Like my other daughter, what I got to see was the comparison. She was always getting sick. And like, you know, when um, she was younger, she was getting cold. And then my daughter who was raised with the Purium more was just hard as like, she did not get sick. She was so, and she's, you know, they're both doing amazing now, but thank God um, we have it in our life. And I just want every mother to know wherever they're at in the journey, start taking it now. And, and your family will also follow eventually. So, um, so grateful and yeah, tightened up, up all the, the skin, those aminos and, and all of the, the, the support that this, not only the food, but this community gave, this was just everything I had been praying for. Thank you so much. Back to you, Ashley. Thank you. Thank you so much, Allison. That was amazing. And I'm just so grateful for all of your shares. And um, we actually are at the top yeah. of our hour, so we don't even have to open it up. But I would love for you all to come over to the um, Facebook page and share with us what your personal experience has been and how you have been able to incorporate these superfoods and what you've seen. And what, even if you wanna share what your experience was before the superfood so that we have more stories to share because we know that when we share these stories with our communities, they impact so many more people at a deeper level. So thank you everyone for coming. I am so grateful to have you all here and to share this space with you all. So we'll go ahead and end the recording and please share this with all of the new mamas that you meet. Thank you.